The soaring cost of drugs has sparked a public outcry across the United States in 2016. There is no evidence that I'm aware of that this price increase was driven by a need. Welcome to Watch Mojo News, the weekly series where we break down news stories that might be on your radar. Senator Kevin O'Toole called Milan's EpiPen price hikes pompous and greedy. In this installment, we're counting down five crucial facts you should know about the rising cost of the EpiPen. Health insurance landscape is partly to blame for the rising consumer costs, especially for people with high deductibles. Number five. What is an EpiPen? An epinephrine auto-injector, more commonly known by its commercial name EpiPen, is a crucial piece of a medical kit for anyone at risk of suffering severe allergic or possibly fatal anaphylactic reactions. The device delivers a measured dose of epinephrine or adrenaline into the user's system using a spring-loaded needle, giving quick and crucial treatment to what can be a life-threatening condition. The design was initially developed for the U.S. military, with former NASA employee and biomedical mechanical engineer Sheldon Kaplan, widely credited as its inventor. Today, the technology has been adapted for general use, and many severe allergy sufferers carry it on their person in case of emergency. According to pharmaceutical company Mylan, the marketers and distributors of the EpiPen, quote, as many as 8 million Americans, or 2.5% of the U.S. population, have food allergies. And these statistics have been steadily rising in recent years. While not every allergy is severe enough to warrant an EpiPen, there is a huge need for the device and a massive market. Number four, what happened to the price of drugs? Marketing rights for the EpiPen were acquired by U.S. Dutch pharmaceutical company Mylan in 2007, with annual sales around $200 million at the time. But as of August 2016, yearly figures had surpassed $1.3 billion. The rise has been attributed to a change in marketing tactics and a dramatic increase in the cost of the product. Beginning in 2009, a series of price hikes has seen the retail value of a pack of two EpiPens rise more than 400%, from around $100 to around $600. As a result, Mylan and EpiPen have come to symbolize the rising price of drugs in America generally. A combination of increased insurance premiums and hiked over-the-counter costs means that the patient is forced to pay more on two fronts. Because the EpiPen has so many patients depending on it, however, and because of the rapidity and regularity with which its price has increased, the company has come under particularly strong criticism. What am I supposed to choose between putting food on my table, between paying rent, or between buying the EpiPen? Also, since the dosage carried in the device costs only around $1, and the technology itself, which costs only a few dollars more to produce, appears largely unchanged since Mylan took over, Question marks have been raised as to why patients are being charged so much more now. Number three, what has the reaction been to the price hikes? Criticism has been widespread in public and political circles. Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton has labeled developments as, quote, outrageous, while the American Medical Association has urged Mylan to, quote, rein in these exorbitant costs. According to further reports, the Senate is set to carry out an investigation into the company that could see it pulled before Congress. Upon announcing the price hikes in August 2016, Mylan also suffered on the markets, with stock losing over 5%. And reports emerged of Americans shopping for EpiPens in other nations, including Canada, where costs are significantly lower. Mylan CEO Heather Bresch has insisted that she is as, quote, frustrated as the American public, however. Look, no one's more frustrated than me. I've been in but this business for 25 years. But you're the one raising the price, so. though. How can you be frustrated? Bresch cited problems with the U.S. healthcare system in general as reason for the increased EpiPen cost, referring to a healthcare, quote, crisis, and comparing it to 2007's mortgage financial crisis. Our healthcare is in a crisis. It's no different than the mortgage financial crisis back in 2007. This bubble is going to burst. What bubble? What are you referring to? According to Bresch, EpiPen's list price of $608 reflects how it has passed through four or five companies before it can be sold. Bresch noted Mylan's net profit from every sale as $274. And she highlighted how heavily the company had invested in placing EpiPens in schools across the country. Number two, is there a price gouging trend in the pharmaceutical industry? 
The U.S. prescription drugs industry is proving exceptionally and increasingly lucrative, as the case of the EpiPen falls into a wider gouging trend. According to the Journal of the AMA, between 2013 and 2015, net spending on prescription drugs in the U.S. increased around 20 percent. And there are some recent high-profile examples where companies have pushed spending up. In November 2015, the U.S. Senate investigated Turing Pharmaceuticals after it acquired rights to sell Daraprim, a life-saving pill that is used as an anti-malarial drug and that treats toxoplasmosis in HIV-positive patients. Within weeks of taking over, Turing increased the cost of the drug by over 5,000% from about $13.50 to $750 per pill. Turing is a very small company, it's a new company, and we're not a profitable company. So for us to try to exist and, and maintain a profit, I think is pretty reasonable. Again, this isn't an isolated case, as a 2014 House of Representatives report found that as many as 10 generic drugs had been subject to massive price hikes of 420 to 8,000 percent compared to 2013. Critics have labeled the likes of Bresch, as well as former Turing CEO Martin Shkreli, as, quote, profiteers, using human need for personal gain. Do you think you've done anything wrong? On the advice of counsel, I invoke my Fifth Amendment privilege against self-incrimination and respectfully decline to answer your question. While some patients suffer, business appears to boom. Number one, what's next for the people who need the drug? As an EpiPen can be a life-saving piece of equipment for thousands of people, the demand for the device isn't likely to decrease, meaning those in need of an auto-injector may be forced to look elsewhere if they can't afford it at U.S. prices. Lesser-known brand AdrenaClick offers a similar, much cheaper but slightly more complicated product to use, obtainable if prescribed by a doctor. As Mylan holds such a monopoly on the market, other alternative brands are scarce. Mylan itself insists that there are ways for lower-income families to get an EpiPen, however. In the wake of the criticism, the company announced plans to triple its copay assistance program from $100 to $300, and that it will increase eligibility for the program, meaning more patients will qualify for discounts. Mylan further announced on August 29, 2016, that a more affordable, generic product would be put on the market in the following weeks. Though it'll be identical to the EpiPen, other than the lack of the brand name, its list price would not be, selling for approximately $300. However, as of the same date, the list price of the original is set to remain the same. While U.S. lawmakers have welcomed such moves, they've also said that more needs to be done. A spokesperson for Hillary Clinton called the plans, quote, insufficient, and other lawmakers have labeled it a PR stunt. For allergy sufferers and parents of children at risk, the issue remains the same regardless. An EpiPen is vital for their child's safety, multiple devices are often required, they can't be reused, and they have a short shelf life. So, at more than $600 for just two pens, it's a problem that just doesn't add up. Did these facts get you thinking? I think this actually calls for a lot more investigation and a lot more questions. To vote for which news story is covered next, head over to watchmojo.com suggest. And be sure to hit that subscribe button for more newsworthy top tens published every week. People are outraged because it seems outrageous.